Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, you are going to learn Ruby on Rails tricks. Ruby on Rails tricks. Specifically, you are going to learn about the Rails console. The Rails console is a very helpful tool to help you improve your Ruby on Rails skills. So watch this video if you are interested in that. Let's do this. Okay, so what's the Rails console? Well, I'm inside a Rails 6 project, but this will work with any Rails version, Rails 5, Rails, even Rails 4. And what you can do is use the Rails command. And Rails itself is a command that has other subcommands, other tools built into it. One of these tools is the Rails console which you can launch, you can run with the words rails space console, or if you want a shortcut, you can just do rails C. So there it is, here is our rails console and you will see there's a loading development environment and it says your rails version, right? And what this is, is basically an ERV session where you can work and interact with your Rails project, okay? So what kind of things can you do here? Well, everything that you can do inside your Rails code. So for example, if we have a user model, well, we can create users. We can find out what users that we have. So for example, we can do user.all and we can find out that I have no users created, zero users in this example application. And we can also do this to confirm that, right? So there are no users, so we can create one, right? So for example, let's create one and there is a user. And now we have one user, as you can see. So this is one way that you can quickly test your Rails models without having to actually create a view, without having to create a form, without even having to create a controller. You can test your, and work with your models directly like this. And in fact, I do this a lot because I like working on the backend, on the logic of the application before actually creating the views, right? That's one reason that the Rails console is very helpful, but also there's other things you can do. So for example, there is the helper method. And this uh, method that's exclusive, that's only available in here, in the Rails console. And this gives you access to all of the helper methods that are built into Rails. For example, I have one that I have defined myself inside application helper, helper, and we can use it like this. For example, we can say format um, coconut, and there we go, we get the output. Okay, and we can also use helper methods that are built into Rails, like for example, the number two percentage. So number, Two person, whoops. So number two percentage. Um, this takes a number and also a precision. And as a result, we get a string formatted as a percentage. So the advantage of this is that you can test and try out the different helper methods from the Rails console before actually having to use them in your Rails code. And again, having to build a view, having to build some HTML and CSS to view this. You can just try it out in the console, okay? So that's another use. 
One more use that you have in the Rails console is the controller object. The controller object. So the controller object is an instance of application controller. Uh, this gives you access to the methods that you have defined on application controller. So for example, I have defined a method that I call coconut. And it just returns the string yes. This is just an example. So you can see that you can access the application controller methods from this controller object. Okay? So there is one more thing that you can do is to use the app object, another Rails console exclusive method. So what's this? Well, this gives you access. This allows you to access things like routes, routes. So for example, we can do root path. And of course, I get the path. And if you have other routes defined, you can tie, you can try them like this from here. Okay. So to quickly review, the Rails console allows you to work with your Rails models and also gives you access to other objects like app, controller, and helper. And notice this helper in singular form, not helpers, it's helper, okay? So you get access to these, these three objects on top of everything that you have in your race application, specifically models, like user. Now, there's a few things that you need to know. And uh, one thing is that the Rails console doesn't, it does not auto reload. So you make changes to your code. It, these changes don't apply to your Rails console session. So what you have to do is this. You have to use the reload exclamation mark method and this will reload the code. But notice that even if you do this, if I have like a user like this, right? This user, we, it will not be reloaded. So you have to reload these objects as well, like that, or reassign the, the object. And that's after you call reload exclamation mark. Why do we need to do this? Because like I said, Rails console doesn't detect your changes to files to reload your session, your code in here. So that's why you have to do this, but only if you make changes to your code. And one more trick that I want to show you that's very helpful, it's called the sandbox. So a lot of people don't know this. So if you want to, show one of your Ruben Rails friends, you can show him this trick and uh, he will like it, <laughs> probably. So what this does, it allows you to enable the sandbox mode. So as you are reading here, any modifications you make will be rolled back on exit. So if I try to change something right now, like I want to change the first user like this, it won't actually change because if I go, I exit the console and I enter the console again without the sandbox, right? Do we see that? it didn't change. The name stays the same, as you can see there, even though I did an update. Okay, so that's Rails Console Sandbox. Let me give you one bonus trick that you can use with the Rails Console, and that's to launch it with a different environment. So as you might know, in Rails, there are three standard environments. You have test, have development, and you have production. 
right? Test development production. By default, the console opens in products, sorry, in development mode, as you can see here, highlighted. But if you want to change that, you can do it very easily like this, dash E for environment, and then you say the actual environment that you want to enter or work with. In this case, you can say dash E production to get into the production environment or test like that, right? And you can see this as loading test environment. So that's it. Let's quickly review what you learned in this video. You learned about Rails Console. Rails Console is a tool that comes as part of Rails. You don't have to install any gems or anything. It's part of Rails. And it allows you to interact, to work with your own Ruby on Rails projects. And you have access to your models, uh, your controllers, and your routes, OK? and your helper methods. And on top of that, you learn two tricks, very helpful tricks, which is the sandbox, with, uh, which allows you to work with your database without actually changing things because they are rollback, right? They are not committed to the database. So that's helpful. And you also learn about the dash E option, which allows you to to work with to enter the console in different environmental modes. Okay? I hope you find this helpful. If you did, please click the like button for me below this video. That will let me know that you like this video and it also helps me get more reach for these videos so more people can benefit from this information. If you want to learn more, watch more videos on this channel right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. rubyguides.com. Thanks all for your support. Thanks all for watching. I will see you in the next video.